Right then, guys, here we go, the MGC. Yeah, MGC GT. GT. Yeah, I like this car somehow. I don't know quite what it is. The colour appeals to me. The one thing that really is a shame, and it must be addressed, and it, the only way to do it is have another one, is the steering wheel. Aha, uh -huh, well, Welcome. in that spares package over there behind you, I think you'll find there's, the, uh, there's a spare wheel in there is for that it. Is right? Well, perfect. Better still, absolutely. I've got battery on charge. She was proper flat. Hopefully she'll come back. Um, but um, light, nice car, I rate the car somehow. I don't know what it is about it. It sounds lovely. It's automatic as an awful lot of MGCs were, which in my opinion, not very good really. I don't think they really suit automatic than MGCs. But the, 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 a bit like a stag, the drivetrain is, is too sloppy for mm. an automatic. So it's like reverse clunk, drive clunk, and that sort of thing, which none of us like to hear, but it's, unfortunately it's a trait of the car so there's nothing you can do about it it's the way it is you know um, but the automatic box itself is engages first and reverse nice and easily and quickly engine sounds really really sweet it starts up bang straight away like that really straight body nice door skins nice interior extremely nice interior original interior as well which is nice so uh, a, 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 a steering wheel, as you say, in there. Um, I believe so. I think we'll have a look in a minute. I think we go around that side. Just double check. Yeah. We have, yeah, um, a nice thing about it as well. No sunroof. Mm. Um, owners have restricted the urge to fit a sunroof. Makes it quite unusual, really. You know, most GTs of this quality have had a sunroof fitted at some stage. Uh, and when I say that, I mean the fact of the matter is a good Webasto sunroof, even even a number of years back, was thousand pounds. They're not cheap. Um, so they were generally only fitted in nice examples of um, MGB GTs or GTCs, uh, MGT, MGCs, should I say. Um, this uh, hasn't got one, which oh, I, I personally would like one, but it's nice to see a car without one. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm. Um, right colour, nice straight engine. Yeah, nice engine inside the under there. Yeah, it's tidy, it's smart, it's not overdone. It's just a really, really, really usable, enjoyable MGC. Mm. Uh, a sensible reserve. It should achieve its, its, its figure very, very easily. They're good news, aren't they? They, they hold their money well. There's always a market for a nice MGC GT. So I would keep an eye on this one. I think it could prove a very good buy. Mm. Good. We got some uh, spares and bits and pieces in here. Look, there we go. The steering wheel in there, these are all on the passenger seat. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, filters. Yeah, a couple spinners of bits and yeah. There's a few yeah. bits and pieces found in that pieces, in there. But there's a wheel there anyway. It's a, it's a, it's an aftermarket wheel as we can see. What is it, a mountainy, it's a mountainy wheel, which is fine. I love this stand of wheels, really, because they're nice and big like a bus, so they make it nice and easy to steer. So personally, if I was the buyer of it, I'd invest in another wheel myself. Each to his own, but looks a really usable car. Very nice, yeah. Wire wheels fitted as usual, of course. Nice chrome. Yeah, it's 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 not mint or anything, but it's just a nice old car. I'm looking forward to giving it a polish up at the weekend, which I will do, and it will really stand out. It's a it's a good looking car. So yeah, my advice: come and have a look. I think you'll be quite impressed. Bearing in mind it's sensibly reserved. There you go.